Welcome back to Barker Memorial Stadium. My name is Dan Reeves. Good boy, oh boy. The number one ranked team in single A of the state in trouble right now. Halftime as we begin the third quarter. McKenzie, the Rebels Martin have a 20 to 6 lead. Humbug kicking off to start the second Alan half. Taylor or D. Short kickoff going to be scooped up at the 38 yard line. Zach Newman. Zach Newman. Newman. PA announcer had him tricked up. He thought it was a punt. Glad to have you along here. You see Humboldt. Not sure if that was a design. We'll begin this half at the 38-yard line. First and 10. So first and 10, McKenzie with a 14-point lead to start the second half. Here's Ty McLean out of the shotgun. McLean, he'll hand it off and just dumped in the backfield. A nice play by Keon James, linebacker blitz at once. Junior James. Chavez with the carry. Chavez dumps in the backfield. Stopped by Keon James. James dumps him for a four yard play. loss. Back to the 35. It'll be second Tomorrow, down. Tennessee, the Vols hosting 14. South Alabama. You know, I think this game's going to be closer than a lot of people believe. I see Tennessee building a halftime lead. But Tennessee's lack of depth. I think South Alabama plays him within a touchdown. Here's McLean and a fumble. McLean falls on it. Looked like Chavez went the wrong way. Or, or McLean spun the McLean wrong way. falls on the loose ball. See Wade Comer over there, the head coach. He's, he's a guy of the tie. He wanted to talk to his players there. Could have been a big mistake there. 10.53 left. Third quarter. All right, third down. Fans, how about your defense? 20. McKenzie on their own 32-yard line. McLean in the shotgun with four wide receivers. Here's McLean back to throw. Here comes the rush. McLean rolling left. Firing downfield. Nearly intercepted. That is down. Good one. Down down to bring up fourth down. The Vikings have held by the opening possession of the second half. You see McLean. That pressure came and McLean rolling left. So fourth down and 20. Grant Lawrence. Well, if you had Marcavius Brown chasing you, you'd, you'd run too. Mon Montague standing back and waiting for the punt. still being blocked. Here. They get it out of there. Well, short punt going to hit it midfield and down to the 49 yard line. And the punter went down. I don't know if the flag came in or not. No flag. The Vikings will still so shot from their first possession of the second half. Great starting field position. Line. First and ten Vikings. Down 28 yard line, down 20 to 6 early in the second half. It's a high snap. And boy, I don't know how the world he missed that. A great job by Grant Lawrence to go up and get the snap. That was Keon James nearly blocked it. If he laid out, he'd have blocked that one. 10 27 left in the third quarter. 20 to 6. McKenzie and going nowhere on first down is James. He's dumped in the backfield. Zach Newman. Cornelius Watson on the carry. In on the tackle. Sadler. Little and Newman in the, on the stop. Sadler. Loss on the play. Ball now. Also in on that tackle. At the 46-yard line. New line of scrimmage. The Viking 46. It's second down. And let's call it 14. Montague out of the shotgun. Here's Montague. He'll, he'll keep it in trouble in the backfield. Montague escapes two tacklers. Now looking for the left edge. And he won't have it. He blocked out at the 46-yard line. Montague on the keeper. Lawrence. Stopped by. Grant and Noah Lawrence in on the tackle. Lawrence and Noah Lawrence. So third down at 11. See Montague trying to create, 
shades of uh, Tony Champion playing quarterback for Humboldt. Bring up third. And Viking 11. fans are going to say, yeah, but Tony took it to the house. Jalen didn't have a chance there, though. Third and 11 for Humboldt. Well, McKenzie's just, has frankly been the aggressor all night long. I'm going to take an early 6 nothing lead. And it's been McKenzie now with 20 unanswered points. Here's Montague back to throw. Across the middle. Oh, incomplete. Had a man wide open. Just missed him. Joseph Rice with a diving attempt but couldn't come up with a catch. Montague with plenty of time. Third down pass. Just short arm that one. Or led him too much, I should say. Had him Rice wide open. So Humboldt going to have to punt it away. Burns in to punt for Humboldt. Kind of a nonchalant punt. Going to be fielded on at me by Keenan Taylor. At the 25-yard line, that's where McKenzie will take over first out of 10. At high school, if that knee touches, you are down. Same as college. So, I'm getting emails wanting, wanting my prediction on Tennessee, South Alabama. I'm picking Tennessee to win a close one. Tennessee 24, South Alabama 17. It's my pick. On the ground, first down. Oh, thrown for a loss. Trayvon Brown. Christopher Allen. Christopher Allen Allen was dumped. His Brown got scrimmage. one hand on him Brown. and kind of hip tossed him. A la Jerry the King Lawler. What's Brown here? Brown get some of that jersey and hip toss. Trayvon Brown, the outside linebacker, a senior for Hump Boat, 6'2, 205. Playing out of the shotgun, play action, back to throw. Fires and incomplete. Looking for Noah Lawrence, and Lawrence had his feet taken out from Andre. It's Ferguson and company over there defending. Lee Lawrence goes up for it, and then bam, takes his knees right out. That's Octavius Ferguson, nice play. Third and 18 for McKenzie. Ball resting at their own 12. They make it their own 18. Ty McClain out of the shotgun. Trips to the right this time. Allen the lone setback. Here's McClain going deep down the center of the field. Incomplete. Overshoots his intended receiver. Lawrence with just as well into double coverage. And it was well covered in Humboldt. The Vikings defense is held. On third down and law. So punting situation for McKenzie. See McLean under pressure. Fires it over Lawrence's head. So McKenzie going to punt it away. Grant Lawrence into punts for the Rebels. Goodwin and Agnew. Kevon Goodwin and Agnew back for Humboldt. Low snap handled it there and punted out of there. The punter it goes down again. I'm going to let it hit and it'll roll dead at the 47 yard There's line. A flag on the field. And this time, Grant Lawrence draws the flag. Wade Comer, the head coach, was complaining about the previous punt, asking where the flag was. And here's Lawrence. Let's see if he gets. Yeah, they got him. But the question is, see, personal foul, roughing the punter on Humboldt. The question I have is, did Humboldt get a piece of that football? And Grant Lawrence uh, fetching the laundry for the official and saying, thank you, Whitehead. Boy, that's a big play in this game. So instead of Humboldt having the football at midfield, McKenzie will keep it in a fresh set of downs. That's a hometown self-storage first down. Hometown self-storage also bringing you the third quarter here. Well, there is 
the rule in high school football was changed and this is where it comes into play a personal foul is not an automatic first down in high school football these days and it was fourth down in 19. so a 15 yard penalty is not going to net a first down and mckenzie's still going to be forced to punt so back in there is lawrence to punt it away under pressure again lawrence gets it out of there great kick this time it's going to roll inside the 15 and be touched down at the 14 yard line so that's about a 36 yard penalty on the vikings always a great scene on friday nights for high school football in west tennessee this game featuring the number one ranked team in class Vikings single A in the state. Ball spotted on their own 14 yard line. Humbugs. First and 10 for the Vikings. In three and two McKenzie. But so far it's been all McKenzie. The Rebels have built a two touchdown lead on Humboldt. Let's see if the Vikings can get this offense jump started. Here's Montague. Deep in his own territory, still out of his shotgun. Montague, back to throw. Under pressure, fires down the center of the field. Got a man open, cuts at the 38-yard line. Pass is... That's Joseph Rice. Watch Rice. He got Jaylen turned around. Montague to Joseph Rice. Rice got turned around but still made the catch for the hometown set storage first down of the Vikings. So big play for Humbo. Let's see if that jump starts their offense. Humboldt converted on their opening drive, a fourth down. Spot the ball at the 38 yard into line. a touchdown First catch. Ten Vikings. Keon James from Jalen Montague for 50 yards on fourth down. And that's all the scoring for Humboldt in the first half. Since then, it's been McKenzie with 20 unanswered points. Here's Montague under pressure, sends it out into flat, has his man caught at the 35 and hammered down there. His grand Lawrence is called him from Montague to and held him Montague. up. And then McNulty came in and cleaned it up. McNulty and Lawrence in on the tackle. So the loss Ball is four is yards. The -yard line. McNulty and Lawrence played that beautifully. It'll be second down and about 13. Watch Lawrence. He spies him out of the backfield. Now watch how fast he closes. Agnew didn't have a chance. Here comes McNulty to clean it up. Bam. Second down at 14. Here's Humboldt on the ground. Agnew going nowhere. He's going to lose another half yard. Boy, this Rebel defense has been tough tonight. And I know it's frustrating for Agnew on the carry. Nick McLean, Humboldt's all-everything running back who's not played yet this season. Stand on the sideline and watch this game and not play. Humboldt hopes to have Nick McLilley back maybe by next week. They could sure use him tonight. So third down and long. Humboldt with trips to the right. Here's Montague out of his shotgun. And we got a movement. No call though. Humboldt gets away with it and batted down at the line. You can see in the backfield there, Agnew just leaning just a little bit. Watch him. And Montague. As falls incomplete, brings up Nice job down. batting at McNulty, who made the big tackle. Montague back to punt. Earlier this series, now bats. Allen and Taylor. That pass deep. attempt down, and so Humboldt going to have to punt it away once again. Keenan Taylor and Christopher Allen standing deep. Into punt, John Burns for the Vikings. Here's Burns, under pressure, gets it out of there. Burns, punt gonna be filled at the 35, to the 40, and they're taking off his feet at the 47 yard line. Allen on the Christopher return. Allen. You're watching the Ball Game Blitz. 
Hometown Self Storage serves all of Gibson County, is open seven days a week, and has locations in Milan, Humboldt, Medina, and is coming soon to Trenton. Call us at 571-1517 for all your storage needs. At Raspberry Tire, we can help you with brakes, transmission flushes, interstate battery replacement, all types of suspension repairs and alignments. We carry several major oil brands and tire brands, including Firestone and Bridgestone. Our service center can balance both passenger car tires and semi-truck tires and fill your tires with nitrogen. With 30 years of towing experience, we can haul small, compact cars to semi-trucks and we are the only record service in Gibson County with heavy-duty towing and recovery services. Come visit us at 2216 Highway 45 Bypass, Trenton. Ball spotted at the 46. So from the 46 yard, yard line, McKenzie road. takes over first down and 10. Five minutes, 10 seconds left in the third quarter. McKenzie right now in control, 20 to 6. But a scoreless third quarter so far. Here's Ty McLean in the shotgun. McLean, he'll hand it off. Straight ahead with room to midfield in the humble territory. Take it off his feet at the 48 yard line of the carry. Allen on the Christopher carry. Allen. Stop made by Keon James. Keon James on the tackle for the Vikings. Hometown Self Storage. Ball Coming soon to territory. Trenton. Hometown Self Storage with locations That's in Trenton. Yard or I should say Milan McKenzie. or Milan Madonna in Humboldt, I'll get it right. And coming soon to Trenton, that's hometown self-storage, call 571-1517. On the ground again, running room. Outside the numbers to the 40, and finally dragged out at the 35 yard line, Christopher Allen. Running the football Allen and running it well for McKenzie and the Rebels Watson. are in business with a fresh set of downs and another hometown self-storage first Ball down. Spotted at the Viking 35 Boy, Allen. Line. It'll be first and 10 for the Rebels. Watch him. He has got great field vision. Finally taken off his feet by Cornelius Watson. But not before Allen has a fresh set of downs for the Rebels at the Humboldt 35. Here's Tyler McLean out of the shot. Got to hand it off. Chavez straight ahead. Chavez on the carry. For a yard, maybe two. The Titans at home Sunday, hosting the New York Jets. I like the Titans Darius, big in this game. Big weight on the bottom of the pile. My prediction on this one, Tennessee 38, the Jets 10. Bill in Paris requested a prediction on that game there you go bill 343 Short left third quarter 20 to 6. McKenzie in control here at Humboldt McLean second down and nine out of the gun he'll hand it off straight oh bang right there at the line of scrimmage <laughs> nice job by Gian James the as he wraps up Junior Chavez, and Chavez is 5'11", 210 pounds, and look, bam! He's not an easy man to get off his feet. But James was not about to let him go. Third down and nine. Nothing on second down. Big play here for the Humboldt defense, down by two touchdowns. Back to the air, and incomplete. Looking for Taylor. Pass falls incomplete. Had that pass been on nine. target, Trayvon Brown may have turned that into a pick six. Look at Brown. He read this one all the way. Bats it away. So fourth down at nine. And McKenzie in the same situation Humboldt was in earlier. From this point of the field, you kind of have no man's land. Just a little bit out of field goal range and too close in to punt it. So fourth down and nine, and McKenzie going for it. Here's McLean back to throw. Across the middle, incomplete. Fourth down pass, falls Looked like incomplete. Lawrence was open. Will take over. I'm not sure that Lawrence ever saw that football. 2.29 left in the third quarter, and Humboldt will take over on downs. Let's see if Lawrence even sees this pass coming. Yeah, he did, but I think he also heard footsteps. Just too far out in front of him. 
Ball spotted at the Viking 34. First and so 10 Vikings. Vikings. Come up with a big stop. And Humboldt will take over first and 10 from their own 34. It is a gorgeous night of football here in Humboldt. Especially if you're of the Rebel point of view. McKenzie with a two touchdown lead. Montague under center. He'll hand it off, going nowhere. Dumped it in backfield is Watson. Watson on the carry. Clint Daly, a nice tackle in the backfield. For Lucas no Little. On the play. Lucas Look at this. Little. Lucas tackle. Little. Defensive end blitz him through the air and dumps him in the backfield. So it's getting down to crunch time here in Humboldt. Here in the second half. They've done very little on offense. And McKenzie hasn't scored, but they've held the football for the biggest part of the third quarter. And with a two touchdown lead, that's what the Rebels want to do. Keep it out of the hands of the Vikings offense. Montague under center again. He'll rise up and bat it down into line. Oh, boy. So Junior Reed, after running exclusively out of the shotgun in the first half, has his quarterback under center. What a nice play. And bring up third. Lucas Little, you can see, 10. got his hand on the elbow of Montague. And Montague just threw that one right into the ground. So third down and 10 for the Vikings. McKenzie, three and two. Boy, this would be a big win for the Rebels if they can hold on. For Humboldt, they like to hold on to that number one ranking and stay unbeaten. It's not a district contest, but it's still a big game. Here's a little razzle dazzle running off to the 40, outside the numbers 50, to the 40, cutting back inside at the 30, and finally dragged down at the 25 yard line. And oh boy, Octavius Ferguson was floating with a flag there as he was talking a little smack after that run. But Ferguson. Wow. Little on the stop. And not before the ball was spotted. Ferguson, a speedy run running back for the Vikings. Vikings. He nearly tucked this one to the house. And watch Ferguson after he's tackled here. Yeah, we missed it, but fortunately, the Vikings, he didn't get a flag. First and 10, that's a hometown self-storage first down for Humboldt. Play action, here's Montague back to throw. And incomplete. Looking for James, that ball looked to me like it was tipped at the line of scrimmage. See Montague, play action. Yeah, it was tipped. So second down and 10. Second and 10 for the Vikings. From the McKenzie 25 yard line. Here's Montague under center. Eye formation behind him. Montague gonna hand off. Working right side, taken down. Is Watson, there's Lucas Little again. He's having a huge Watson game for here. McKenzie. Stop by Little. It's Little, fight off the block and dumps him. Third and ten. Third down and ten. McKenzie still holding that two touchdown lead. Is Humboldt running out of time here in the third quarter? Montague under center. Big play for the both teams here. Montague to keep it. Sneaking right ahead to the 20. Breaks a tackle down to the 15. And Jalen Montague on the QB queen. Uh, plus tax. The QB keeper. Look at it. He just takes that snap and straight ahead. Breaks a tackle from Chavez. And that's tough to do. It picks up a hometown self-storage first down. 20 seconds left here in the third quarter. And the Vikings... Finally, get that offense untracked. But can they pay it off? That's the big question. On first down, on the ground, straight ahead they go with it. 
down to the 12 yard line hammered down there and that'll do it for the third quarter after a game of two by Watson when we come back home we'll be facing a second and eight after three quarters 20 to 6 McKenzie you're watching the ball game blitz